Hey friends, it's Rana and last week Cindy announced the 2022 Age and Readathon and I'm here today to tell you what I'm planning to read for it. Age and Readathon is a month-long readathon dedicated to reading books that feature Asian characters written by Asian authors or both. This readathon will take place in the month during the month of May. It will start on the 1st and will end on the 31st. Cindy started this readathon four years ago, but this is my first time participating and I'm very excited. The theme this year is loosely based on the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. I haven't watched it. I don't think I'm gonna watch it because it is rated R and I don't watch R-rated movies, unfortunately. And for the challenges this year, there are five very easy challenges and I decided to read one book for each challenge, which means that I'm gonna read five books in the month of May. And I also decided to make it a little bit more diverse for me. I'm gonna read each book to be by an author of different ethnicity, just to make it a little bit diverse and to have more fun with it. The first challenge is to read a book written by an Asian author. So for this challenge, I wanted to read a book written by an Arab author because many people tend to forget or they don't even know that half of the Arab world is actually in West Asia and I really wanted to include this and to read a book by an Arab author. Given that I don't really read that much Arab books, so I wanted to include one. I originally wanted to read a book written by an author of the same ethnicity of mine, which is Syrian, but I couldn't find a book that I'm in the mood to read right now, which is the struggle of every mood reader. Instead, I picked a book that I have been interested in for so long, and it is by an Iraqi author. The book is Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmed Saadawi. I'll probably read it in Arabic, the original language that it was written in, but it was also translated to English if you are interested to check it out. What I know about this book is that it is a horror retelling of Frankenstein and it is set in war-torn Baghdad in 2005 and I can't really wait to read it. The second challenge is to read a book featuring an Asian author who is a woman and slash or older. For this challenge, I picked Confessions by Kanai Minato, who is a Japanese author. And the book follows a woman who is, I believe, in her late 30s, if I'm correct. It is a mystery thriller book. That's why I don't know much about it. But what really encouraged me to pick it up is because it is May pick for literally Dead Book Club. And that's why, and that was like hitting two bears with one stone, reading this book for the book club and for the Asian Readathon. The third challenge is to read a book by an Asian author that has a universe you want to experience or a universe different from yours. For this one, I picked The Island of Sea Women by Linda C, who is an Korean author. Cindy said that we can pick a book with a, a character that has different profession from us and this book came to my mind because the book talks about the women divers of Jeju Island. They work as divers and they live in Korea and these are two experiences and universes that are different from mine and from everything I experienced before. This, and this story takes place through several decades, starting from the 1930s, so it is totally different from anything I ever experienced. I had this book on my 22 TBR for 2022, so again, it is like hitting two birds with one stone, and I'm really excited to read this book because it's been years since I put it on my TBR and I haven't read it yet. The fourth challenge is to read a book by an Asian author with the cover worthy of googly eyes, i.e. a book with a beautiful cover. For this one, I picked The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang, who is a Chinese author. This book is an under-hyped fantasy book, which is very well praised by the few people who read it, and it fits this challenge because it has one of the most stunning covers i ever seen on a fantasy book. And for the fifth and last challenge, read a book by an Asian author, that has a high rating or someone recommended to you. For this last challenge, I wanted to squeeze a graphic novel, so I picked The Magic Fish by Trang Li Nguyen, who is a Filipino author. This book is a graphic novel with beautiful artwork and it has ridiculously high rating on Goodreads of 4.56, I believe. That's why I picked it for this one. So that was the five books I'm planning to read in May for the Asian Readathon. I might also add a sixth book to read. It is Crying in H Mart. 
I really, really want to read this book and it is by a Korean author. It won't fit any of the challenges. It is just an extra read I pick for myself. Now I'm gonna quickly recommend you some books by Asian authors or featuring Asian characters. These are some of my favorite books ever, so I hope you pick some of them. The first book I'm gonna recommend you is a very short one and quick to read. It is The Prophet by Jubran Khalil Jubran. He is a Lebanese author. I really love this book. It is a poetry book with lessons for people from all over the world and from all different regions. It doesn't depend on specific one. I also highly recommend you any book by Khaled Husseini. He is an Afghani American author and I love all of his books, especially A Thousand Splendid Sons. I love this book. It's gonna destroy you and break your heart, but it is a really good book talking about the struggles of two Afghani women in the 1990s. A memoir I highly recommend is Anna Malala by Malala Yousafzai. She is Pakistani and she talks about her life, it is a memoir, and it talks about her life and how Taliban attacked her for encouraging girls to study and go to schools. Another favorite of mine is Kim Ji Young, born 1984 by Cho Namju. It is by a Korean author. I love this book. It talks about the sexism and the Korean culture against women and how different they raise their children and how what struggles women face in the Korean society. The next book is Saq al Bambo or The Bambo Stalk by Saud Sanusi. He is a Kuwaiti author, I believe, and he in this book he talks about the struggles of non-Kuwaitis in Kuwait and especially the main character is half Filipino, half Kuwaiti and how they are treated differently in Kuwait. Another memoir is First They Killed My Father by Lang Ung. She is a Cambodian author and this book talks about the Cambodian war and how it torn apart a whole country and how many people were killed and died because of it. And lastly, a graphic novel called The Arrival by Sean Tan. He is half Chinese, half Australian, and this book beautifully illustrates how people immigrate to a whole new different countries and what difficulties they face just to have better lives for themselves. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to see my future videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!